If you want to succeed on Shopify, you're gonna need a professional looking store. So in this video, we are gonna go over a series of highly professional design principles and various techniques you can use to take your Shopify store to its highest potential. My goal in this session is to give you a solid understanding of the most important design concepts so that you know exactly what to pay attention to when you're designing your Shopify store. We'll be having a look at some real life examples and then I'll guide you step-by-step step into getting started. If you haven't signed up for Shopify yet, I also wanna let you know that the best current deal for getting started is gonna be linked in the description. Right now it's at $1 for the first three months. Now let's dive in. The first design principle we're gonna talk about is contrast. This is one of the most important principles in all art. You can think of contrast as differences, or even more specifically, you can think of contrast as the principle that allows an element to stand out. Contrast is all about creating distinction and differences between elements so that you can choose what is going to guide the viewer's attention. For example, in this store, you'll notice a strong contrast in the banner against this other section which has a white background. You'll also notice contrast in the Add to Cart button, which is red and really stands out against the black. The white font is also popping very nicely against the black, and as you can see, these three elements have a more subtle gray tone, which again is different from the white above and is just enough to make it stand out without doing anything that goes out of balance. Here in this section, you'll also notice contrast against this very large image, against very detailed small information. Same thing here, you'll see a very large bold title against a subtle and small body font. Everything stands out, is easy to find, and is engaging to look at because of contrast. Number two, repetition. Yes, your elements need to have contrast and be different, but within those differences, there should be a pattern of repetition. For example, the red color repeats itself across many elements. It's in the buttons, the text, the logo, the video background, the links, the prices, and some of the icons. So there is a clear structure of repetition, which creates a polished, coherent, and professional brand look. You should also apply repetition in your product images, meaning that they should all have the same dimensions. They can all be rectangular or they can all be squared, it doesn't matter as long as they all have the same size. Number three, white space. You can think of it as breathing space. It's the area in a design that is intentionally left empty. It doesn't necessarily have to be white, it's just the absence of any sort of content. Breathing space is absolutely necessary so that your design doesn't look cluttered. It's also something that's going to help the viewer focus more easily and keep your design clean and professional. As you can see, there is a fair amount of white space between these sections, which makes it more visually appealing and easier to look at. If the white space weren't there, it would take more efforts to look at and things would be a bit messy. You can adjust this white space in the padding settings of each section in your theme editor. It's something to be very detailed about because in the end, summing all of this up is going to make a big difference. But don't worry about this yet, I'm gonna guide you step by step into setting up your online store. Number four, balance. This is about placing your elements in a way that creates a sense of equilibrium. And there are a few different ways to achieve balance. It can be a symmetrical balance, which is the same on both sides and creates a mirror effect. An asymmetrical balance, which is not necessarily the same on both sides, but still creates a sense of equilibrium. Or a radial balance which emanates from a central point with the elements surrounding it in a circular pattern. Applying balance is going to help your design look stable, organized, and visually appealing. So be mindful of balance when adding content to your online store. Number six, harmony. Let's make it really clear. How does this sound? And how does this sound? <laughs> Hopefully you can tell that the first one sounded terribly unpleasant and the second one very harmonious. Now it's the exact same thing when it comes to design, but in a visual composition. You've got to be intentional about how your visuals look in relation to one another. Are they pleasing and well orchestrated or are they maybe just randomly placed? The choice of how you arrange this is going to make all of the difference. To help you understand harmony, I'm also gonna leave a few great story examples linked in the description. Number six, unity. 
this is very similar to harmony. This is all about creating a sense of connection and coherence between all of your elements. This is going to happen naturally when you apply repetition, harmony, and even contrast. So unity is really just the natural outcome when you do everything else right. It's about making sure that your elements are not disjointed or conflicting, but rather are connected and creating a positive and unified user experience. You can also achieve unity by having a product catalog that works as a whole. This could be done by selecting product images that go well together and being mindful of what goes into your product catalog so that the items are somewhat relatable or have a complementary functionality. This is also going to help you with cross-selling. I'll leave a video on that in the description. Now to summarize this part, the easiest way to achieve unity is to think of everything as a collective, with each element supporting the main goal of everything together. All right, those are the six main principles of design. Contrast, repetition, white space, balance, harmony, and unity. So with these principles in mind, here's what you have to do next. First, if you haven't already, sign up for a Shopify account. You'll find the best current deal for getting started linked in the description. Right now it's at $1 for the first three months. The next step is collecting great images to use in your Shopify store. Not only are they going to guide the first impression users will have of your website, but they will also play a huge role in whether or not somebody wants to buy your product. Images are one of the make or break factors of your online store. To give you an example, this is the level of photography that basically will sell your products for you. And the craziest part is that I found a video where a photographer took these exact same products and shot insanely professional images on an iPhone. So there is a lot that you can do by yourself if you just learn a couple simple tricks. I'm gonna leave that video linked for you in the description. And even if you don't have a smartphone or maybe you're drop shipping and you don't have the products with you, you can still achieve insane results with AI. There are AI tools that will generate professional looking images of your products if you just upload an existing image of it. You can also use text to image generators like Imagine to generate high quality, great looking images for your banners and all of the other sections of your website. All you have to do is describe the image that you want to create and the AI will generate it for you. It's really, really impressive. And if you're selling print on demand products, this can also be a really cool way to create designs for your products. If you're curious about print on demand, I'm also gonna leave a tutorial for that in the description. You can also use AI tools to increase the pixels of your images, which would turn them from low quality images to really high quality, high resolution ones. So there are a lot of ways to help your store look more professional, and I'm gonna leave some of these resources for you in the description. Next up, design custom content for your Shopify store. Here are a few examples of designed content. If you have no idea how to do this, I'm gonna leave a link to Canva down in the description. It's very easy to use, and if you have a bit of creativity, you can create just about anything. So think outside the box, get creative inside Canva because visuals are powerful and they are going to have a big impact in your sales. And sometimes a more user-generated GIF style can also be very effective and sometimes even more relatable. So you might even intentionally want to keep your GIFs in a bit more of a TikTok user style. And to help you place this content in the right way in your online store, I'm gonna leave a link to this tutorial in the description. It'll give you an idea on how you can add this custom content in a way that improves your product pages. And I'm also going over some of the design principles that we were talking about earlier. Step number four, reference. The easiest and most helpful way to ensure you are heading in the right direction is to reference with websites that you know are successful. Really look at them with a critical eye and see how you can make your online store better. To make this super easy for you, I've put together a free marketing resource where I break down some of the top Shopify stores that I've come across and what they're doing right so you can follow their footsteps to create your own success story. It's loaded with top store design tips and tons of inspiring ideas for you to implement in your online store. I've actually also included a free branding guide in this resource, which includes everything you'll need to know to create a thriving brand from scratch. You'll find both of these resources links for free in the description. All right, now that we've made it this far, I wanna change it up a little bit and note something interesting in case you haven't. Yes, we were talking about design, but in between the lines, if you pay attention, 
All of these concepts go hand in hand with life. Balance, focus, harmony, consistency, breathing space, those are the defining principles of your best life. And this is important because to be successful in business, you have to be aware of those very same principles, but from a mental and emotional perspective. You are the architect of your online store, but you are also the architect of your life story. Anything well-designed is really just a reflection of a well-designed life. So be mindful of balance, be mindful of what you focus on, and be consistent in taking action. Appreciate the contrast between every experience and give yourself room to breathe. Be mindful of harmony, let it guide your every action, and remember of unity, everything is connected. So take it easy, trust the process, and one step at a time, you'll get closer to your goals. All right, that's all for this video. If you haven't signed up for Shopify yet, just a quick reminder that the best current deal for getting started is gonna be linked in the description. Right now it's at $1 for the first three months. As always, I'll be answering all of your questions down in the comments, and I'm super excited to hear more about your progress. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. It'll be super, super appreciated. And if you're looking for more tips on Shopify from step-by-step -step tutorials to becoming the best version of yourself as an entrepreneur, then I'm inviting you to subscribe to the channel where I'll be sharing tons of helpful tutorials from beginner to expert level. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.